Well, Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. We're already in Luke chapter 24. Hope that you're having a wonderful, blessed day. And we'll begin in verse 1. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, for he has risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulcher and told all these things unto the eleven and to the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and other women that were with them which told these things unto the apostles, and their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran into the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at what was come to pass. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, about three score furlongs, and they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communication are these that you have one to another as you walk and you are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priest and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them, which were with us, went to the sepulcher and found it even as the women had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe all the prophets have spoken, ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it, and break, and gave to them, and their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they arose the same hour, and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together, and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and hath appeared to Simon. And they told the things that were done in the way, and how he was known of them in breaking of bread, 
And they, as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do you thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. For a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have. And when he hath thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have you here any meat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all these things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. He led them out as far as Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. So, what a wonderful, wonderful way to spend Christmas Eve reading about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so I hope you have a wonderful, blessed season, Christmas, celebrating the Lord's birth with your family and friends, and uh, share Him with someone else, make Him known, and uh, take time to be still with Jesus when you can, and, and worship Him as these disciples did. What a wonderful uh, scripture just thinking about the disciples on the way to the the road to Emmaus and they were so down downhearted and and discouraged and so many times that's just the way Jesus does with us he'll come along we'll be so discouraged and and maybe low in spirit and he's always there walking beside of us and sometimes we can't see him sometimes we don't recognize him sometimes he shows up in um uh Maybe a, a devotional, or he might show up in a, a phone call from a friend. But um, he shows up in different ways in our days. Sometimes it's just a little thing that lets him know that he's thinking of us. It's something maybe that we enjoy, a certain bird or a flower. <laughs> he knows because he gave us those um, delights and things that we so enjoy. So... How wonderful that he decorates our world just like we decorate for the holidays he decorates our world every day with so many different things uh, colors flowers trees plants animal species sunsets sunrises the ocean so many things just for our pleasure and and to sustain our life but also just to bless our senses and he's such a wonderful God isn't he what a savior we have and uh, remember that he came for you and he loves you. And we wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Bye for now, friends.